back in the house family with another video and we are about to be discussing mr andrew tate the top g you know they hate to see him looking fly but you know the man's been dealing with a lot over the last five or six months probably even before that but it looks like some things might be turning around for the top g so let's get into some of that 4.0 stuff now we know when Andrew Tate started taking off, you know, some people had some things to say about it because he represents what it is that men really believe and what men want to see for society. And some people don't like that. And like I said in my last video, you know, some just do not want to see Andrew Tate be able to live. So the top G has been doing his best just to be able to hold his head. So there's some new information that just got released that might see the brother looking fly again. And that's what we about to discuss in this video. Now I haven't discussed Andrew Tate in a little minute. And the reason being is because I found out a little bit more details about his case, the whole webcam business. And then, you know, that attorney, I think Bruce Rivers made a few videos of him kind of self snitching a little bit and you know I understand as an influencer you got to be able to get your message out but some of the stuff that he said to be honest with you I wish he would have never said it even though you know it might be how he truly feels but sometimes you just got to be kind of weary of who's paying attention to your message and what are they trying to do meaning plot against you but in 4.0 we don't turn our backs on the homies and the reason that is, is because you got systems out here that are trying to shut down messages that are trying to really inspire men. And when these systems get involved in your life, your message, the people that you influence, and they want to be able to control the way that those people see society, they'll do anything to shut down a free thinking man. But that's what we're here for. So without further ado, let's get into figuring out who's been a liar. Breaking news, guys. This is serious. Wiretaps revealed that both the US women and UK women plan to frame Tate. These documents are actually crazy. So guys, two of the girls who claim to have been victims of the Tate brothers were caught discussing how to make fools of themselves before the police descended, but also how they were determining how to disguise themselves so not to be recognized after the law enforcement raid. It says in several wiretaps, the two young women who claim to have been victims of the Tate brothers shared secrets and advice to help them in their chosen careers. After finding themselves at the center of a scandal of major propositions, the two were caught trying to figure out how to disguise themselves so they wouldn't be recognized by fans on adult websites. In another conversation held by the young women from USA with her mother, the victim of the Tate brothers is confronted by the woman who accuses her of setting the authorities on fire. So guys, this is footage of the transcripts we'll go through. So basically he said, you are a good actress, true. And says, just play it cool. This is dealing with the police. Like you don't know, play dumb. Another one says, I'm going to pull some tears. This is them pretending to the police that they're victims. This is massive. The fact that these guys are still behind bars, been victims of doing stuff like this is absolutely crazy. Westernized thotties out here lying. What else is new? but the levels to be able to sink your ship. And let's be honest, you can't say the Matrix is not back in their play. Let's just go play it cool and change my name so it will not start with A. And then someone says, lol, got it. These are some of the stuff they were saying. Play the victim. I mean, yeah, act like we still love them and stuff. Ha ha ha. This is what they're saying about the Tate brothers and they're pretending to the police they're victims. This is massive news. Tomorrow we should wear makeup and sunglasses so nobody really notices what we look like or who we are. Yeah, I guess, laugh out loud, we are writing a movie ASAP, yep. They wanted to become famous. In this next bit, they're saying, for sure, we have to make a movie, saying, let's email Netflix, ASAP, or Amazon Prime. They wanted some sort of documentary made about them being fake victims, which is absolutely sick. So these two have been proven not to be victims. 
The screenshots have been leaked today from the girls who framed Tristan and Andrew from the human traffic. The same, very same two girls who accused them of these things. The screenshots between them two have been leaked today where they're talking about how they're going to play this, how they're going to frame, they have plans to frame them and how they're going to do it. There's a discussion, you can see it on the screenshots where they're saying, are you good actress? Asking each other if they're good actresses, how they're gonna let the tear come out and all that kind of stuff, how they're gonna get an Oscar for it, how they're going to contact Netflix and Hulu to get the best deal. And not only that, one of the girls also been messaging mother at the same time while she was talking to the other girl how she is not kidnapped or she's not being human trafficked and her mother ended up calling the embassy american embassy and even her daughter was like you did it i didn't tell you to and she was like what well, then why are you causing all of this like massive problem if you're not being trafficked like why are you causing this massive like problem with embassy and panic if nothing is happening and so she's just going to saying like it's your fault like you can see it in the screenshots because she even herself said in those screenshots they do not care if i leave and then mother goes on like then why are you causing all of this you can see it all in the screenshots how she's telling her mother they don't care if i leave it's your fault that you call the embassy her mother's saying why are you causing all of this and there if there's no problem and her talking to that other girl saying that if they're good actresses, they're gonna be, they're gonna have a deal with Netflix and Hulu. This is fucking disgusting. This is disgusting. Those two women should be pulled in a jail, not the boys. I think we all know at this point, I have knew this all along, they're innocent. This is a fucking joke. The fact that these screenshots have been now leaked and they're showing nicely how they framed them is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting and I don't understand it in my mind how they're still in jail. How are they still in jail? They're not even charged. They're not even charged. And now after this, I don't understand. I do not understand. And if there's anybody who should pay for it, it's them two girls. Family, you heard a lot and you saw a lot in that video. But like the young lady said, how are they still locked up? I think Andrew Tate talked about this in a video himself. Is that when people want to make you guilty of something and they have power behind them, they'll go to whatever levels that they need to go to just to be able to put you behind bars. And why is that? Because you stand for something that helps men see that there's a brighter future out there. And some people don't want to see you shine because they already have ideas of how you should live your life. Now for the liars that we already knew was liars. Look at the evidence that you just saw in this particular video and ask yourself, what should be done to them for telling such lies? Talking about Hulu and Netflix deals, talking about how they're going to put on the waterworks, but you're the one losing your freedom. So understand this, gents. When we're in this country that we love to call the matrix and we want to deal with women, we got to be smarter about how we deal with them straight up and down. It's a shame that it's come to this, but I'm just trying to keep my freedom and enjoy my life. And I'm pretty sure Andrew just wants to do the same thing. But let me know your thoughts on everything that you saw in this video. Until next time, I'm out, fellas. Peace.